Welcome, welcome. So, hey, you, uh, so for those of you who don't know, that was Pig Radio. Pig Radio is the one who did, wow, it feels like the lights are like crazy little bright right now. Let me turn these down a little bit. There we go. Uh, anyway, uh, Pig Radio, who did the intro for that, he did do the zip tie song. So we actually have the official zip tie song. We will make a debut of that one on uh, later in the week, but I just got to do some testing with it and stuff like that. But we do actually have the zip tie man, zip tie man, which is going to be super rad. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. Um, and that's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, we're uh, just be ready um, for us to show that off, which should be super cool and a lot of fun. Yeah, we got a new song. It's, we, it's, it's, it's slowly like we're becoming like professional or something like that. Plus railing Nike Hello Kitty today. So everything is just going well. Um, so it's super good to see you, Ethan Rothamold finally followed me five hours ago. Uh, so uh, anyway, it's going to be it's going to be a good thing. And today is going to be a good day. What's going on, Seth? It's, it's going well. And uh, how is everybody going? And how is everybody doing today? Happy Monday. Uh, it's so good to see everybody. I'm really excited about having you guys all here today. It's going to be a fun build, I think. And I'm excited about uh, what we're doing. We're showing off some cool new Asia Horse stuff, as well as actually building inside of the Lee and Lee Land Cool 3, uh, which should be super fun. And I'm pretty excited about uh, what we're gonna do. So uh, what's the specs on the computer today? Uh, we'll go through the parts, but it's a 12900K. We're actually gonna air cool it. Um, we're gonna be using some Asia Horse stuff. It's a 3080 Ti, so it's a pretty good system. We did that We did that AMD thing last week. Now we're gonna do a little Intel thing, so it should be funny. Uh, Monday was treating me nice. I got up on the mountain today, so we did, did some climbing. Um, and then of course, then uh, got back down, um, just getting ready for some crazy travel coming up and then uh, just getting some, some builds done. So uh, tomorrow is episode two of uh, pre built and streaming. Um, so uh, pre built of gaming. So we're gonna be playing some um, V Rising, which I know um, a Blade of Ice is actually really excited about. So we're gonna be playing some V Rising tomorrow. That should be fun. Tonight we're gonna play some World of Warcraft because we got that 50% EXP boost and our guild went from like, I don't know, we had, Friday was super fun because we had one of the most wholesome moments I think we've had as a gaming side of things where we had a bunch of people on, we were just really stretching to make the guild. We got the guild built on Friday. Uh, there's already It's already like 16 or 17 people now. We actually got our guild tabard and all that sort of stuff. So it was a lot of fun to do that and kind of have that whole thing. And then this whole weekend, just the camaraderie that's happening right now in the Roby Tech Guild over on Azure Song has been really neat. But today we're gonna build, then we're gonna game, and it should be, it should be a super fun stream. Uh, what mountain we did, <laughs> I, I know, okay. Let me just, let me just take a moment. People are gonna laugh and like the six year olds in the room are gonna go, the name of the, it was called, we did Poo Poo Point. It's called Poo Poo Point, yes, that is the name. Um, and it's like, it was like 1600 feet, 16, 1700 foot elevation gain. Uh, my wife, who many people don't know, was actually, um, was actually uh, confined to a wheelchair for the rest of her life. Um, and then due to some miraculous circumstances and some new medical procedures, has now actually up and about and walking and hiking again. And so she is training for Rainier this year. And so she went from basically the last two and a half years being almost 90% in a wheelchair to up and climbing these mountains with me. So really, really crazy, crazy miraculous things going on. Um, and so that's who I was doing it with today, which is actually pretty, pretty crazy. So yeah, it was, it was pretty nuts. <sighs> Oh, have your earbuds ready for that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool thing. So lots of lots of lots of nice stuff, um, and uh, it was lots of nice stuff and all sorts of things like that. So it's it's been pretty cool. So it's neat to get to go do that, and that's what we were doing this morning. We're going to do it again on Wednesday as well. So pretty crazy, uh, pretty crazy and stuff like that. So uh, it was it actually I don't actually know if it had to do with stem cells. Um, it was it was basically a new procedure having to do with. Um, activating nerve cells around where the damaged ones on her spine were, but it could have totally been uh, stem cell stuff. I don't know enough. Uh, Mount Hood was mine, now I'm in Tennessee. Yeah, so we're gonna do, so we're gonna do, we did Rainier, I tried attempted Rainier. We've got Helen's coming up in August. We're gonna be doing Fuji in September, so there's a bunch of cool stuff from there. So yeah, pretty, pretty crazy stuff. But let's talk about today, because that's why you guys are here. You're like, Roby, what's the day? What's the dealio? What's the plan? What are we doing? So today we're gonna to be building a PC. We're gonna be building a PC inside of the Lee and Lee Land Cool 3. The other thing too is we also have some, we're finally gonna use some cool, some of these products we got from Asia Horse. 
So these motherboard RGB things that you guys have been wanting me to use forever, I think these are gonna work in this case. And then Asia Horse also sent me this CC, GCCH2. Um, and it's actually here, let me show you this. It's actually a SAG bracket, but it is also a cooler. So it actually has additional fans that sit underneath the SAG bracket to give the GPU additional air. So we're building the exact same build we did the review for. Um, for uh, we're doing, hey, what's up, Cinex? It's good to see you, dude. We have the exact same, uh, uh, don't worry, we're playing again tonight, man, don't worry. Um, so uh, it's the exact same, we're putting the exact same specs that we did in the review so we can see if this actually has uh, impact on the overall, on, on how cool the GPU is. But we're gonna be installing this today too. So um, pretty, pretty neat little thing. We're gonna see how that works. Um, thanks for Asia Horse for sending this over. And we're gonna pop this into the build today as well. So should be pretty cool. Yeah, I'm actually, I, I hope it works. Right, like I hope it works, because I mean, if it does, it does, we're, we're gonna find out, so we're gonna test it, and it should be cool. Well, we suggest you add fans below the GPU to help with GPU temps, but it will raise the temps of the CPU, which is already pretty tight with the 12900K. So, Org, if you go see the, if you go see the review, the review is there on what we did. The GPU temps were actually fine. So it's already all inside of the, uh, it's already inside of the review. Um, so anyway, we'll, we'll show, we're gonna, we have to build it, we have to build it the exact same way we did the original. So it's gonna be the exact same thing to see if this actually helps. So we are adding fans to that, to the, uh, to the GPU to see if temps go up and then we'll see what it does to CPU temps as well. So, org, it's like you knew, it's like you knew which should be fun. So uh, let's talk about giveaways. What are the giveaways for today's today's extravaganza, the joys? Okay, so if we get to uh, 350 likes over at youtube.com slash robytechlive, so head on over there, hit that thumbs up button. The likes are free. Uh, also subscribe while you're at it. Uh, we get 350, we'll give away two uh, $25 new egg gift cards. We also, uh, if we get if we get some hype trains, uh, we had a absolutely bonkers hype train uh, last on Friday. Bonkers, bonkers hype train on Friday. Um, but uh, if we get some of those bonker hype trains, then uh, we might give away some twenty-five dollar new A gift cards as well, um, just to celebrate some. Obviously, you guys doing hype and supporting us. Uh, you guys can see we're actually really close. If you look over in the bottom right hand side, we're super close to getting that uh, getting close to that PC giveaway. Now, rumor is if everything goes well, we'll actually give away the next one on the sub drive will be Project Stealth, which is sitting right over here. So that actually may be the next PC that we give away for the sub drive. Um, and then that'll start in August. If we hit our goal and hit get a, give this PC away like we're supposed to, uh, like we're uh, actually supposed to do hopefully here in the next couple days. Uh, so all you gotta do is if you drop a sub, then it obviously goes towards the PC, give, uh, the PC giveaway drive that's happening right now. Lastly, we have an RTX 3070 we're gonna be giving away for the month of July. If you want to get on that, all you got to do is use your, use your free Amazon Prime sub. If you use Amazon Prime, uh, then you get a free Twitch sub. Use that, then you're entered to win, you get one entry. So, and the guy who actually won last week, uh, last month, won off of a single Prime sub. So our winner last week was off of, uh, last month was off of a single Prime sub. Now, if you, uh, if you want to get more entries, if you subscribe it to your one, you get three entries. Subscribe it to your two, you get five. And if you subscribe it to your three, you get 10. And then each additional gifted sub that you do, so like say for instance, you gift the sub like, uh, I don't know, so many people do like Farger does or uh, Braythorn or Riddick or any of those guys. Each one of those gifted subs gets you one additional entry towards the giveaway. Um, so if you like, so that's that's the way it works. So get it in there. Hey, what's up, Farger? Dude, it's been so good to see you on the uh, on the game. So yeah, we're gonna be giving away 3070. If you want to get in on that, uh, just drop your sub, and then uh, hopefully every sub is gonna help us raise towards uh, getting that uh, PC giveaway as well. Um, lastly, I do want to let you guys know. Super appreciate. We raised over six thousand uh, dollars towards um, the Footprints of Fight. I'm gonna play that video right now because this is the last week to get in on that. So just stand by. By one second, we'll play that video because you still have a chance to get in on this. Things like cleaning services, providing groceries, gas cars, etc. Okay, we're gonna try that one more time, this time with audio. What's up guys, Roby Tech here, and one of those incredible opportunities where I'm doing something for charity. This one is for Footprints of Fight. Footprints of Fight is an organization that comes and stands behind families that are dealing with children who have cancer, doing things like cleaning services, providing groceries, gas cars, etc. 
while they deal with this incredibly difficult time. I'm actually summiting Mount Rainier, the tallest mountain here in Washington, as part of this fundraising goal. But the best thing about it is I'm also giving away this PC behind me. It's a custom water cooled 10900K 3080 full looped system. Looks absolutely epic. The way you get in on that, just a $10 donation. Every $10 gets you one additional entry and we'll be announcing the winner at the end of July. So such a great opportunity to not only support an incredible organization, but also to potentially win a amazing PC. Check out the link in the link tree for more information. So you guys Commencing have a chance to get on that. Oh, checklist. sorry, wrong one. So that is still going on. Uh, that is going to be ending in the, this one. So if there's a chance to win a beautiful, it's a 10 900K 3080 fully custom water-cooled system. And that giveaway is happening uh, at the end of this month. I am currently in second place. I am less than $1,000 away from the leader. So we are, I'd love to see if we can get first place. But again, so incredible for you guys to raise oh, over $6,000 so far. And, you, and the large part of that has been uh, from you guys. So thank you very much for that. And uh, and I so uh, and, we'll, and Blondie will get you the link. We'll show it up in here in the channel. You guys can go click on that and support us there. So thank you very much for all of that stuff. So that is it. That's the plan. That's what's going on. Let's talk about what we're putting in today's build. And guys, new format here. I'm just trusting you guys. I'm not like if we get hype trains, we get hype trains. If we don't, we don't. Like I, I really just want to get into building and gaming. Um, I just trust that you guys, if you guys want to make hype happen, then you know what the giveaways are, all that sort of stuff. The only thing we really drive for is the, uh, the, the likes and stuff like that. So that's going from there. So if you guys want to get that started, great. If not, awesome. Just want to get to building. That's, that's like kind of more of the fun. So, okay. So uh, putting at the, uh, the top of the CPU, we're going to be tuning in the Core i9 12900KS. Uh, this, uh, this is still currently the king. At least for the next couple of months, right? Because we're waiting for 7000 series AMD and then everybody's gonna be like, Roby, you're an AMD shill because then I'll build all AMD systems for a while. And then it'll go to Raptor Lake and everybody's gonna be like, Roby, you're an, you're an Intel shill. So that's how it's gonna work. So you guys just you guys just go and make fun of me uh, however you want. I just like to build cool PCs and I like to use the coolest stuff. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, so anyway, that's our CPU. For our, our motherboard, we're using the Z690F gaming wi-fi uh so this is the uh this is a beautiful hey thanks far i appreciate that uh this is the rg strix z690-f gaming wi-fi absolutely bonkers uh mobo is going to look really good inside of this build uh, and it works really well with our uh intel uh 12900 uh, k for cooling we're using we're air cooling we've been doing air cooling hey what's up dude you're an eight i'm an exactly craig i'm an asia horse shill uh, so Noctua NHU-12A, uh, we have a tendency to try and air cool as much of these things with cases because the other thing too is it does a better job of telling us how the airflow actually is. Uh, when, you use, when you use AIOs, um, a lot of times the one thing that's AIOs are less dependent because they're getting airflow directly from certain locations, but it can do things like tell you how well uh, GPUs, etc., are getting a, a hold of the air and stuff like that. But anyway, we're going to use an Octua NHU-12A. Same thing that we did when we actually did the case review for this build. Um, and we just want to make sure that we're going to see how well that Asia Horse graphics card cooler H2 is going to do in terms of that. Music is a bit too loud. I know, I know. Let's turn the music down a little bit, guys. Hey, music's down. Um, okay. Uh, thank you very much, Joviant, for the, the sub. Steel Grey Rider, thank you for the two, the giving the gifted sub. So there's that. Um, for our, I feel like I'm missing, oh yeah. For RAM, we're gonna use the Corsair Dominator. This is DDR5, 32 gigs at 5,600 megahertz. Looks like some of the documentation is coming out of it. So there's the RAM right there. And then for storage, we're using a one terabyte WD Black SN5, uh, SN850, so a four, PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSD. Huge shout out to WD for sending me a new, fresh uh, bunch of Western Digital uh, NVMe SSDs. Love their stuff. We use a lot of them in our commission builds. Uh, they're usually my go-to because the 530s, as much as I love them, uh, just in terms of value to performance, WD is just really hard to beat. Um, yes, uh, Neo Satori, yes. Right now, uh, Intel's the only one that supports DDR5. Um, for our GPU, we're using the EVGA uh, 3080 Ti for the win three. Love these ones. They got that big, beautiful RGB bar. They light up like a Christmas tree. Everybody gets happy. I mean, why would I not use this? You know what I mean? So that's just going from there. This is the, I think that this is the best Noctua cooler. I think a lot of people say that the uh, DH15 is actually better, but uh, in our testing, this has actually outperformed it. So 
What would make you choose? Because you're paying for the name Samsung. You're not paying for better performance. That's why I would choose it over the 980. There's no, like the 980 doesn't perform significantly better and it doesn't necessarily have better endurance either. You're literally just paying for the name nine, uh, the, the, the term Samsung. So, and I, I have no problem with that. Samsung's great, but you're overpaying for those drives most of the time. So that's why I choose them. And if I was going, and then again, here's the other thing too, is if I was gonna choose something that was better, the Seagate Fire 2 to 530 is better than the Samsung 980 or the 980 Pro by leaps and bounds, both in endurance, speed, and uh, warranty, so. Um, okay, so there is the, the, the RAM. Um, and then lastly, for power supply, we're using the EVGA 850P6. So this is a platinum 850 watt PSU. Uh, and then we also have a lot of Asia Horse stuff, more than normal. So we've got our, our standard Asia Horse uh, cables just to make sure the build looks good. But then lastly, we've got all this other Asia Horse, the Asia Horse X and the uh, GC, there it is right there, the uh, cooler as well. <coughs> and the uh, there's, there's our lightsaber Xs as well, so yeah. So there's all the parts, but it's for the first time, like we have new case and that's all the, this is the Landcool 3. Uh, somebody asked about case fans, we're using the stock case fans because again, for review purposes, we have a tendency to stick those. Hey, Blade gave Bobby Cat a uh, gifted sub. Look at that, you're so good. Yeah, the case has, it actually has 340 millimeters and then 1120 in the back, so yeah. Um, so it should be really, really cool. <laughs> see what I did there? Should be cool, and it's got lots of uh, it's got lots of Asia Horse stuff. So we're gonna see. Hopefully, we'll get to use this for once, because like we've been trying to use this on like three builds. So that is the plan for today. Should be a good build. What do you guys think? Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> yeah, all around gaming. I think that's just because people do what they think is popular. And you know, so a lot of times uh, there, there's, there, I'm not saying, like, let me be super clear. There is nothing wrong with Samsung. They're great drives. You just pay for Samsung, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, okay, there's our drive. And then we'll get, the, we'll get the air cooler out a little bit later. So yeah, this build, I know Blonde is gonna get mad at me. This build should be pretty straightforward. We've done it before, so it should just go in. And then the, it does have a, actually have an OS on it. Um, I don't have the numbers off of the top of the hand, so I don't know if we'll do any benchmarking um, at the beginning. I could, I could because again, it takes a lot of time. But we will let you guys know because there'll be a video on it on uh, how actually how it reviewed. Now let's get the first let's get the first prediction going already. Gamu, thank you very much for the sub. Let's get the first prediction going already, guys. Uh, did you get the shoes to match your shirt? Yes, I did. I have the I have the hoodie and the shoes for the Hello Kitty. Yes, I do actually have the shoes. I wore them yesterday, and if you look on Twitter and on Instagram, there's a post with it. <clears throat> yeah, I love this, uh, yeah, this, I love this, uh, I love this whole thing. And then I, I uh, so yeah, I have the whole Hello Kitty bit. Um, okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get our first prediction going. Will the VRM be cleared by the VRM CPU cover? <clears throat> and go from there. Yeah, thanks, man. I'm glad you guys like it. I am Frost Giant. I literally, I showed you that. Yeah, I am using sleeved extensions. They're right here. There it is, right there. Sleeved extensions, yeah. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, H. Jacob, we do mailbox, like, uh, we probably do mailbox peak six or seven times uh, is training for Rainier. Uh, and then the other one that we really like is Psy. Uh, uh, the other one that's really awesome. Oh, I guess it's not gonna clear. Uh, let's cancel that. Oh, here, I'll put it on. We'll, we'll, make, we'll see if it happens. Never mind. I can put this back on. Okay, it's back on. Um, uh, Mount Bandana and uh, Mount Bandera and then also uh, Tenerife are also really great. For hiking. Oh, it's okay, you you asked. Hey, I'm not mad, I'm not mad if you asked. It was just good. Okay, here we go, guys. Uh, getting the CPU out, let's go to top now. And uh, you know what, we're, oh, and then ramp. Okay, so let's get our CPU out and go from there. 
Build mat, another build mat done. You guys have done it. You guys have done it. Uh, so Kaler, Kalo was asking, is it is DDR5 worth it? That's such a personal choice. Like it does actually have an impact on the performance of games. Um, and uh, it is getting way cheaper. Um, so it's actually not that expensive. Um, I think that with, I think we'll probably, I'm hoping we'll see better stuff out of uh, the new AMD platform and then with Z, uh, Z790, which I don't know, somebody told me that Raptor Lake was Z690 and then I found out, no, it's Z790. There is gonna be a Z790 for Raptor Lake. So I know Zero that uh, we, I saw that and 50% EXP boost. We'll be playing that at the end of the show. Uh, Zero is at saying, hey, uh, it's 26 September, Rathalich Clean Classic. We're actually pretty excited about that. Uh, the Guild. And if you guys want to join us, uh, we're playing again tonight, but we are uh, we have a pretty strong guild going. Farger's playing too. We got a lot of people playing, so yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Pandora and I have heard the same thing, and, uh, and the same thing with AMD is that we're going to see the bigger uplift on the newer ones, not on, uh, on Alder Lake. By the way, you know where I was the other day? I was at Alder Lake. I was actually at Alder Lake. I was there. I meant to take a picture of it, and then I realized, holy crud, I'm at Alder Lake. So I've actually been there. Unless, you, well, okay, 3090, uh, that's a hard one, BMOC. Uh, it, it, yes, in, unless you just really have a lot of money, and then you really want to do 4K gaming, then the 3090 Ti kind of makes sense, but I, it's, I, I'm really having a hard time arguing with you. I really kind of want to put a 3090 Ti in my system. Did you pull Excalibur out all the lake? Yes, I did, Pandorian. It's right here, Excalibur. I pulled it out of Alder Lake. There it is. Yeah, so I'm excited. I mean, October, uh, this, this holiday is gonna be a crazy time for all of us, right? Can we can we get a can we can we get a what? You know what I mean? Because uh, it's going to be a bonkers time this holiday, with all the new tech. I am Dal. I have a modified uh, affiliate agreement. Okay, guys, here we go. First one. Where is it? There it is. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay, here we go. Will it clear? I'm, I'm guessing most people said no, but let's see. Come on, baby. No, dang it, dang it. I want this to happen once. I want the disappointment to come in there. The answer is no. <laughs> dang it. Everybody's like, that's a game. That was a game. That was a like a no-brainer. But it, one day it will, and it'll take you all by surprise. Hey, Maiden's here. Hey, what's up, Maiden? It's good to see you, dude. That's right, Bob. It will. At one point in time, it will, and people will be like, no! But you gotta play the odds. Okay, next one. Will, okay, so this is Dominator Platinum. Will it be louder than 96? Ooh, we're making it tough. We're making it tough for the, 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 uh, the Dominator today. Will it be louder than 96 decibels is the question. Ooh, Blade dropping a tier one sub for Maiden. Maiden's good people, guys. You have one minute to predict, guys. Get in on your predictions. While you're at it, I'm gonna put this NVMe SSD in here. Oh. Pull the... So I forgot to pull the top off of it. There you go. Five K down.
By the way, guys, uh, I am actually pretty excited. Um, so uh, you guys don't know. Uh, so Tom, uh, you guys, one thing that we will be covering a whole lot more on the show, and I'm, I'm excited uh, Tom is taking us on, but we are gonna be covering, you guys look for weekly videos uh, starting hopefully next week on uh, Steam Deck. So we'll be doing Steam Deck, bunch of weekly videos. And we got some really cool videos coming up. We got a Steam Deck 101 video that Tom's working on now. Um, and then we're also going to be doing like just updates on all game performances, new updates. Um, we're gonna be testing all a bunch of different memory cards. So yeah, if you guys have a Steam Deck or interested in the Steam Deck, this is gonna be your, your place to get all of your info on it. So, which should be pretty cool. What is going on here with this? There it goes. There it is. So yeah, we're predicting how loud the clicks are going to be on the um, how loud the clicks are going to be on the um, the RAM. Oh no, that's that's Kevin. Hey, WXQBYY, thank you very much for the Prime sub. You are the man, thank you for that. Somebody saying 60K for a no. It's the uh, Z690-F. It's not top of the line, but it's still pretty high end. Top of the line is if we did like the Hero uh, or something like that. getting a RAM thing back on here, and then we're gonna put some thermal paste on it first. Actually, the covers are actually pretty easy to put back on, at least on Intel. I've gotten quite used to it. Okay, let's get our, let's get our thermal paste on real quick, and then we'll put in a RAM. It's a little easier to do this when, it's, when there's no uh, RAM in. Oh, Frost Giant saying no, okay. It's Dominator though, guys. Well, I, I, I can't though, I don't always do like the most expensive boards on every part, like, you know what I mean? Like. I have formula boards and we have the godlike board and we have the ace and we have the hero. We use a lot of them. We just switch it up, right? Because we don't, we don't want all the builds to be like all top end. There we go. Smooth. There we go. Perfect. Got the thermal paste on. JS, great news on all your projects, but are you stretching yourself too thin? I don't think so. Do you feel like we are JS? No, sweetie, there's people who use console, use monitors for consoles. So, you don't have to have a PC to have a monitor now. Uh, Twitch.t, uh, sorry, youtube.com slash Robitech Live. Okay, we got our thermal paste on now. There we go. Okay, now we can do our, we can do our, uh, we can do our test. Here we go, guys. The question is, will it be loud? Uh, Nick, it was, it's an amazing case. It's an amazing case. Really happy with it. 
They did a great job with it. And our whole review is live up on youtube.com slash Robitech. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's hit pause on the music. Okay, here we go. First one. 96. You guys ready? Ninety five point nine. Ninety five point nine on that one. Holy moly. That was close. That was close on that one. That was close guys. Ninety six point one. There it is. Crushed. Ninety six point one. Done. There it is, 96.1. It ekes it out. Dominator does not disappoint with the clicks, baby. You know what, honestly, guys? I got a little weak in the knees. I got a little weak in the knees from that click. It was like, <laughs> Yeah. That was like a good one. I, dude, you, hey, Bob, you were, you were sweating it. Oh, there we go, guys. Now, another Robitech dad joke phone out. Still rigged. Tom's still saying rigged. Tom, you can't say rigged. There it is. 96.1 quality clicks. Hello Kitty powered clicks. That's all I'm going to say. Using my, yeah, that's a good one. Dad. I like, I like that. So we'll use that one. Let's get a dad joke up in this place. Some people need a little humor after that defeat. That's all I gotta say. Some people need a little humor after that defeat. Okay, dad jokes. Here we go, here we go. Let's see, what, what's our dad joke for today? Brought to you by the fine folks over at Blade of Ice, who's really excited about tomorrow, by the way. <clears throat> okay, I like this one, I like this one. To the person who stole my place in the queue. To the person who stole my place in the queue, I'm after you now. <laughs> I like that one. Um, what crime do blacksmiths most commonly get charged with? What crime do back blacksmiths most commonly get charged with? Forgery, forgery. Those are all good. Double, black, double dad jokes right there. Now, another no. Robitech dad okay. joke. Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get our cooler in and then go from there, but yeah. I'm just saying, yeah. I just think I think Tom's a little Tom's a little Tom's a little salty today. Tom's a little salty. He's a, just let's just call him Pirate Tom today. Everybody, his name is not House of Tom today. His name is Pirate Tom because he's a little salty. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say. Man, I didn't get a lot of feedback on those jokes. Uh, Nerdy Gamer, not much so far. <laughs> Just saying, Tom is salty. He's pirate Tom today. Oh, welcome. Well, congratulations on getting the sub. Thank you very much. I'm glad you liked him, Pandorium. Your wife wouldn't approve. Yeah, well, you know what? We need to add that in there to call. You guys, do we need to? Who wants to pay? Like, if I'll tell you what, if we do a hype train, we get a hype train going, we'll call, we'll call Mrs. Robitech and ask, do a dad joke to Mrs. Robitech. I'm sure she would love that. She loves it when we do that. But you guys gotta get a hype train going. I feel like that's worth a hype train. Tom Salty. Hey, uh, if people think Tom is salty, can I get a raise of hands if Tom is salty? Maybe we'll do it with maybe we'll do it with uh, hype trains instead. It feels like a good hype train payoff. I think that's a hype train thing. You guys get a hype train, we'll call Mrs. Roby. Wow, see, I told you Tom's salty. Look at this, Tom threatening people. He'll be Blondie, look at that. She'll be our pepper. <laughs> mm. 
No, we haven't gotten the first hype yet, Blade. So that's what I'm saying now. You guys got a chance. We'll we'll do a hype train, and if we anytime we do a hype train, we'll call Mrs. Roby, and we'll uh, we'll have her have to listen to a, 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 a hype. We'll have her have to listen to a a dad joke. Hydrate. Thank you, Dalishes. There are no white 3090 Ti's, no. Unfortunately, nobody made a white one. Asus still has a white 3090, but not a white 3090 Ti. Hey, Real Steeples, thank you very much for the resub. He's trying to get a hype train going, I'm just saying. He wants to, he wants to hear Mrs. Roby roll her eyes out loud. It's like visible rolling the eyes. Big Mac, Beagle Mackle. 4911, think you were the prime sub. Trying to get in on that 3070 giveaway. Oh, let me go top down so you guys can see what I'm doing. That's not very nice. I don't know, so Galax is interesting, right? Because they're not available in the US, so I don't really follow. I don't know if they have one or not. Yeah, Bob, that's one thing you're doing. They are supposed to, I think I was told, may, I, actually, I actually, I don't know if that was true or not. So I, I don't know if they're gonna do a water block for the 3090 Ti. It feels like everybody's, I think they're waiting to find out when AMD, or AMD, when Nvidia actually announces their 4000 series. Uh, the the out cold one month tier one, thank you very much. Guys, we're super close to hype train at this point in time. Oh, EBGA canceled it? Okay, that makes sense. I will do the hydrate. I see it. I see it. I'm just, I'll get, let me get this in. Wow. Blondie on top of it. She's like, you're supposed to hydrate. Wow. Blade of Ice is trying to get me to stretch. Wow. Everybody's making me do all this stuff. Uh, no, I just don't think it's as soon as people think. I think... I, Cause again, they're still releasing. Uh, oh, crow! One, we're one away, one thing away from hype train, guys. I can see it. There it is. Oh, there it is. I can confirm the 3090 Ti from Galaxy is white. Well, there you go. There is one. Blade of Ice dropping 300 bits, and there is the hype train started, guys. Thank you very much for starting that. Did you try the Razer Kunai Chroma? I don't think where the kunai is. I have tried, I think I have, but I don't know. Bittersweet, five gifted subs. Thank you very much, my friend. I don't remember what the kunai was. Which one's a kunai? Their names, oh wait, yes, I have. Yes, yes, I have. Um, they're the uh, fan, is the kunai the fans? Which one's a kunai? Sorry, one more time. What's up, Hellscream? How are you? Trying to remember which one's a kunai. Help me remember. My mind is going. Uh, do I? I do need something out of this, didn't I? I forgot. I forgot to grab my splitter. Level three, guys. Thank you very much for getting us there so quickly. Got to get to level five. Justin Jam, resubscribe with Prime. Yes, I have used the kunai. We used them in the Halo build. They were awesome. And uh, they have, I, I really like those fans. Victor dropping five gifted subs. Guys, we're at over, we're 300 subs away from giving that PC giveaway. There, that's what I needed. But yes, the kunais are awesome. And if you want to see how they perform, check out the uh, Halo Infinite build. And if you want to see what they look like, they're great. I really like them. Jay Perry, BMOC, 10. Dude, Blade of Ice, 10. Jay Perry, 2017, tier one, 14 months. Justin Jam, I like the name. Wow. 
Wow. I think BMOC, I think BMOC wants his name on the, uh, on the, remember guys, every week we take the top three and they go on the, uh, the good old, uh, the good old, uh, um, build map. I think they do. Yes, Dal, I think for sure. I think that's something that is a big thing for both um, the uh, X670 and Z690. Is that the uh, boards will, rep well, you can do four sticks of DDR5. Pimpin' 323, dropping five months. Let's pop this in here. Get that good tower cool going. Cyber Aileris, thank you for the resub. Tier one, thank you my friend. Oh, BMOC wanted to, oh, what's the, oh, is that what he wants? Wow, this cooler took some abuse. He wants what? What's a Discord color change? Like what? What does that mean? I'm curious. Thank you very much for all those subs, guys, and everybody for crushing the level five. I guess we're calling Mrs. Roby Tech here in a minute. What is BMOC one? He's yellow right now. Uh, so it's it's most prevalent on the i9s because of they're the most heat ones. But the the thermals actually, I think there there's been some microcode updates that have been um, reducing the amount of voltage put into the CPU that has actually helped with some of the thermal issues, um, which we saw we've seen a couple times here on the show. Um, but yes, it is mostly i9s just because they're the hottest. What the heck? It's scratched up. Huh. It's unfortunate. Not that you'll see it, but still. Uh, Jay Lofton, yes, I've done that multiple times and it does just fine. It does not blow up, guys. We've caught, we've watered, we've air cooled uh, 12900Ks. Um, and been absolutely fine. And if you guys want to see how this one does, we've done it before. But we're this one, it still runs a little bit warm. But yes, we have built air-cooled 12900K systems that perform very nicely. It doesn't blow up. Uh, Riddick, 1342, 20 gifted subs. Jeez, buddy. 1,251 right there. I can, yeah, that's for sure, Mom. <clears throat> but again, we want to use the exact same setup we were gonna, I was gonna put a 420 originally in this build, but because we had just got finished running thermals with this and we wanted to test this, um, we wanted to test this Asia horse thing, that's why I'm putting the air cooler back in. So. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Riddick, for that. Guys, we are now at almost, we're like, we're, uh, we're coming really close to giving that PC away, so. Um, let me grab our case now because our motherboard is completely ready to go. Okay, so we got 55 seconds left, then we're gonna call Mrs. Roby Tech and then we'll go from there. It's almost on, yeah, 343. It's almost on Super Chief. It's almost on Master Chief level. Ugh. You guys, you wanna see something cool about the, uh, I don't know if you guys know this about the Lee and Lee. Check this out. These things in the front, not only do they look good, but check this out. Boom. Boom. That's how you open the doors. Isn't that nifty neato? Yeah, this is the Land Cool 3. Yeah, that's why we're building it, because it's a new case.
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So you can make, make you can make your SSDs that your uh, SSDs that nobody uses look really nice, I guess. This is really kind of the only thing you show off in the back if you wanted to. There we go. Now, a couple things that are different about the Land Cool, the Lee and Lee. Hey, there we are. Hype train's done. A um, couple things that are different is uh, versus the Lee and Lee Land Cool Two is that these are on magnets now. So these are, and I'm not. We're not talking about weak magnets either. These are actually pretty strong magnets uh, for these. So these are magnetic now. They don't use screws. These have better. This is more porous, um, as is the front panel. So you are getting more airflow out of the bottom, which they do have mounts locations uh, for putting fans on the bottom here. Um, front panel is also more porous. It also has those little cool hinge things as well. I'm trying to remember how Pops off. And then screw these off. This one does it. There it is, yeah. And there's all our hinges. And there is our completely done. Now, the couple things that are also very cool is for EATX and full ATX motherboards is that you actually can loosen this and then this you can slide and make smaller and bigger as you see fit, which is pretty neat. So I like this too. So that's kind of a neat, neat feature as well. Um, and then uh, you still can, and then again, you have, again, more breathable airspace at the bottom as well for putting in, uh, for putting in fans at the bottom and then it, more breathing. Now, knowing Razer, Razer will probably um, just fill it in because that's what they do. Because they, for, with, their, uh, with their case, I'm hoping they don't. Um, and we end up with a new Razer version of this case because I really like the look and the chroma. I just hope they actually let the bottom breathe like it's supposed to. <clears throat> hey, fourth wall breaker, thank you very much for two prime subs. Uh, Lee and Lee has always been top tier when it comes to PC cases. I remember when they came out with their first all aluminum case because everyone went nuts, yeah. Yeah, they have white, they have white, plain, white RGB, uh, and then black plain and then black RGB. So some very, very, lots of different options. Now, question is guys, can we actually use the Asia horse RGB, RGB, um, can we use the Asia horse RGB motherboard surrounds this time? That's the question. We've been trying to use these on like three builds. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and you can move the you can move the front panel to the top and the bottom. That's true. For good call. Blue Nocturnal. Oh, wait, wait. What am I doing? What am I doing, guys? You guys have earned it. You guys have earned it. Call him Mrs. Roby Tech. Okay, here we go. What? No, that's not the answer. Your call has been forwarded. What? She's not answering. Oh, I got to text her. I'll put it on Amazon too, so that way she knows. She knows, she knows guys, but you earned it. So I'm, I'm getting her on here. She's gonna call me. Okay, so we've got that going. I've, I've let her know, tell her to call. So that way she gets the dad jokes. <laughs> okay, here we go guys. Let's get this in. Oh wait, no, I'm doing this. I'm, I almost forgot. 
Cut. Here we go. It's gonna happen. You're gonna see him right now. We're gonna show you're gonna see him right now. Superman. Just hold on, hold your horses. It's you're not getting ripped off. Calm down. Wow, you guys. You guys are up and you guys are angry. You're have you been hanging out with have you guys been hanging out with Pirate Tom today? Yeah, hold your Asia horses. Okay, here we go. These are so these. Zartman, thank you very much for the sub. So I think this one goes here, yeah. Okay, okay. This one goes here. There we go. This goes like this. World's smallest connector. Okay, here we go. So this goes like this. This is gonna go like this. Oh, it worked! Guys, it works! It fits! It fits! We're gonna be able to use it! It's gonna work! Finally! It's extra, it's no, it, extra RGB means better frames per second. What are you talking about? It's not extra RGB, it's more frames per second. I'm telling you, this is a top tier performance mod. What are you talking about? Zart man, CSI, thank you very much for the uh, uh, gifted sub, man. Appreciate it. It's extra cooling, that's right. Uh, these are Asia Horse lightsaber X's. No, that guy, Kitty, that would like blow people's minds. They wouldn't be able to handle that. What am I looking for? There it is, right there. Uh, they, they are just, they just work off a of standard RGB. We're gonna find out, Super. We're gonna, we, I've never used it before. We're gonna find out today. Okay, here we go. Next ones, we're gonna, we're wrapping this, this thing in maximum RGB. Oh, you're okay, Superman. No, no worries at all. You're, dude, no apology. That's the point of having these live streams is for people to ask questions. Oh, oh, Aaron's calling. Okay, maybe this is my wife. Hello? Hello? Okay, Mrs. Roby. They, they got a hype train, so we could ask you some dad jokes. Okay, sounds good. So they, they think that you're going to cringe at these. Okay, here we go, here we go. What crime do blacksmiths most commonly get charged with? What crime do blacksmiths most commonly get charged with? I don't know. Forgery. <laughs> <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> She's like, that's awful. Okay. Okay, what's another one? To the person who stole my place in the queue, I'm after you now. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, she said, I, I asked the librarian if books about paranoia were available. She looked up and whispered, they're right behind you. <laughs> You're so dumb. Where are you getting me? Uh... Okay, here's 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 a science one for you. One more, the science one. I think your DNA is backwards. And and <laughs> You got to you got to do one of them. 
What? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, let me see. Um, okay, how about this one? Okay, final one, final one. Let's see if we can get her to laugh at this one. What, what did the shy pebble wish for? What did the shy pebble wish for? If he could be bolder. That he was a little bolder. Okay. Okay. What do you call What do you call a hippie's wife? A hippie's wife. Yeah. I don't know. Mississippi. <laughs> what? Mississippi. So stupid. <laughs> Okay, well that is all of them. They, I feel like they, uh, I feel like they were pretty happy with those. They, they seem to be really enjoying it. This, uh, man. Yeah, I like the bolder ones. That's good. That's good. Okay, Brenda. What last question? Why haven't aliens visited our solar system yet? I don't know. They looked at the reviews. Only one star. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I love you, babe. We'll talk to you later. No, me too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> She's done. I've I've emotionally I've emotionally destroyed her. <laughs> oh, so good, so good. I don't know what you guys are talking about. That was entertainment at the best. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out. Can you do? I guess you can. Okay, so we're gonna go this way on this one. Okay, here we go. Oh man, so good. She hated all of those. She liked the bolder one though because she guessed it. So she was just feeling smart. Oh, I'm sorry, Pandorian. There's no warning. There's no warning you, really? You think a warning would have helped? Okay, it feels like this way. No, is it this way? Okay, let's see. Oh, this is gonna go through all of them. Is it, is it, is it gonna go? Is it gonna fit? No, this goes on the bottom. This is like figuring out the puzzle here. Can you use two of these is the question. No, it definitely does not do that. Okay, I think it goes this way. Okay, here we go. I don't think you can do two. I don't think you can do three. Oh, maybe, no, no, you can't. You can only do two. Okay, so you can only do two. Yeah, there's no, there's no doing three of these. Okay, so you gotta do two. You can only do, you can only do one corner, looks like. That's kind of weird. I thought you could do like the whole thing, but apparently you can only do one corner. Okay, so that's what you get. You get RGB at the top and the bottom. Unless I'm dumb. I could be dumb. She blocked my number. Well, she called me from my son's phone, so she may have actually done that, Bob. So the one, it's like, it's like, well, no, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. And that thing is, is that, so you can use them with micro ATX and ATX. And I think you, but it's like the one on the other side doesn't seem to work the way it was. So. So these are called the lightsaber X's, the Asia horse lightsaber X's, but it shows like you can do a whole thing, but I don't know how it works. We're gonna still see them. They're still gonna be lit. <laughs> see what I did there? Lit. Boss Moss, thank you for the follow. I like that name, Boss Moss. Okay, there we go. Seal this back up. Oh, I'm glad you didn't either, Doomsday. I'm glad you're excited about it. Okay, so we're just gonna do the two for now. Then I'll look into it, but I, w I don't want to slow down the stream here. All around gaming, uh, I don't know what your question was. Sorry, dude. Dang it. I think there's some sort of magic they use to repack these things. gonna go in okay I got it 
Hey Ruby, art of culture. Hey Ruby, art of culture and watch anime. I do watch some. I haven't watched it in a while, but yes, I do enjoy some good anime. Okay, so that's in. Let's get and get this motherboard in. See if it goes in, no problem. That's a question. Okay, so it did go in. There we go. Okay, it's in. This little screw is in. So it does work, guys. Okay, let's grab our screw. Where are, they? oh, they're over here. We're putting all these extras in today, guys, so it makes the build a little bit more special today. Oh, cool. Look at this, it comes with one of those sorted trays. Isn't that nifty? I like the sorted trays. Who doesn't like it when you have, you get sorted trays? Roby, forgive me if I'm wrong, but does the RGB kit have a longer one to do the side in the pack? It has, it has, so it saw the two that you saw is what you have. You have a longer one and a, uh, you have a longer one and a, uh, but I don't think it makes sense that there's not one for the bottom because, um, there's no, there's no way to see the light. So I think they did that on purpose. I think that's just to make it, keep it inexpensive. That is definitely not the right. Okay, I'm just getting the screws lined up here. You don't have as much. Why is it so high? It feels like this is higher than it should be. Okay, that is in. Let me put this down a little bit. Sorry guys, trying to, new device, so there's a little bit more focus. Yes, H. Jacob, luckily I live with, I have air conditioning, so that makes it a little bit less painful. I know that a lot of people, it's gonna be, it's gonna be warm for a lot of folks. But yes, luckily both the studio and the house have, uh, uh, the case is Bojax. This is the uh, Lee and Lee Landcool 3. Newest Lee and Lee case. Hate it when that happens. Need my magnet. It's, it's, uh, it's like a lot of people, like it's like across the nation, right? Everybody's like crazy hot this week. Today was the, today was the, uh, 
Uh, soggy socks, um, uh, better cooling for the GPU. Oh, I don't know if that's true. You Potentially better cooling for the GPU. It's just a little bit more of a standard case. It, it does hold less fans. Oh, biggest thing is it'll hold, a, it'll do a 420 millimeter radiator. The small, the largest the 011 will do is 360. It's a better airflow case than the 011 too. So this is an airflow specific performance case. The 011 is not. Uh, Magic, that's a personal choice. I mean, like it's an aesthetic thing. Uh, it's a little bit more dangerous on like active back plates. Like it depends on the GPU, but yes, I don't have an issue with them. Especially if you get the ones that like have some spacing off of them. There is something up with that. I'm not gonna worry about it right now, but there's something up with this. It's just off. This one's just extra high, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm taking this build apart, so I'm not overly worried about it. Getting the last fan here, the last screws in. There we go. Okay, cool. So that takes care of that. Ow, that went right on my foot. Ugh. Okay. It just really depends. Yeah, it's a personal choice. It's definitely, it's kind of up to you in terms of what you, what you want or what you want, etc. right? Recommend, it recommends hard, right? Cause it's like, that's just, you know, it's hard to recommend something. It's for aesthetic reasons. Yeah, it's a Z690, it's a Z690-E Asus, yeah. Yeah, you can go ahead and start the zip tie production. Yeah, that's fine. So guys, we're zip, uh, zip tie question is, are we gonna use an odd or even number of zip ties? Now I screwed up last time and uh, I screwed up last time and uh, and I apparently counted one twice or something like that. So I said in one number twice. So before we do the prediction, we will see. I will. I don't know what to do, like outside of like counting it twice. I don't want this whole thing to go. I don't want this whole stream to take like 10 years either. I don't know if it was confirmed or not, Brian. I, I didn't watch. I mean, it's all fake points, right? Like I'd be different if it would like wasn't, but like, uh, yeah. All right, so everything here is good. We got everything ready. The cooler's in, the RGB strip is in, the, 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 place to, the thing to hook it up is down here. So we're in good shape here. What we're gonna do now is, let's go ahead and start getting our front panels in. We're probably gonna move this over a bit because I think it'll look better if it's like right up against the edge. I think that's gonna look the nicest. Ooh, but I wanna make sure I leave a little bit of room for the RGB. So we'll do it like that. We'll see how this looks. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, okay, flip it over, let's do it. Ooh, that's like stuck on there.
Yeah, we'll like group them up maybe this time. Yeah, like what Blade's saying. Okay, let's flip this over and start <clears throat> looking off all our front panels. Oh. So this is gonna go through like this. We could do that. I right. should be pretty cool if we could do that. It's like long enough. Oh, that would be pretty awesome. It's pretty terrible though. Okay, I'm just first thing I'm gonna do is figure out what I'm gonna do with this. Ooh. What I'm gonna do with this uh, air cooler here. I wonder if I I wonder if it might make more sense instead of doing a single. Hold on one second. Give him a little bit of extra length. Making this look pretty. Hey, smoking bourbon, thank you very much for the well wishes, dude. Appreciate it. What's up, Tur Dog? Don't use the so or I was going to use them to extend. What would I? What would be the consequence of doing that? Uh, just to give it a little bit more length. Oh, lower RPM. Yeah, let's not do that. Put those back in there. Thanks, Graffita. I appreciate it. No, I don't want to do that. I'd rather them run off of the splitter, but I'm trying to think of like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it look nicer. I know one thing we always do that always helps is, what is this? Dude, this fan is like not on right. This fan is not on right. Let's fix this fan here. There we go, that's better. So I think we zip tie this here. This, they just don't give you enough. I could. I got normal fan extensions, yeah. thing is is like it's just the problem is is just the shortness of just the main fans but I wonder what I do here oh shoot again pretty good job of think of something cool here that I can just hide it with. Hold on. That's what I need right there. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to do it this way.
That's what we want to do right there. Okay. Okay. I need, sorry guys, I know you can't see right now. It makes it really hard, but I need to be able to look at the thing. Full. So what I'm doing is hiding the clumps really in front here and then giving this, like using this larger full extension to give it the length. If it's ugly, who cares? It's gotta look good and perform. There is our fan cable. Okay, one. So we're just hiding the clump in underneath near the cooler, the whole clump. You won't even see any of them. Fix this. Okay, we got one little pop out here, the bottom. Okay, there we go. Now you can't see anything. Okay, cool, that's much better looking. Okay, cool, now you can't see it all, it's all hidden, and then we just used a larger extension to get that to look nice. Okay, there we go. Now, let's take this. Very nice, long extension. Plug it into CPU fan like we're supposed to. And then, There we go, okay, got it. Okay, now that looks way better than what nightmare I had going there for a minute. I like it when a plan comes together. Okay, let's go to cam link. We want side cam link. There we go. Okay, so now we've hidden that. I just want to zip tie this here and then we'll, and that's just to keep this clump here at the very end. Okay, cool. We got that done. Looks nice and clean from the front. Now we can do this and Weird. OK. 
Okay, let's grab this top down. Well, don't lose that, because then I won't be able to count that. Try to get away from me. You want another miscount question, miscount thing with the community. You miscounted, Roby. There was a, there was one that flew off. Yeah, I didn't. I I forgot that that was a, the low noise one, and so I was like, oh, I forgot. And then I realized, oh yeah, Org reminded me, as did everybody else, that those are actually not. That's what you sound like. Exactly like that, Blondie. I know what you're talking about. That's exactly who who agrees that that was a perfect impression of you guys, like an impression I just did. Nice. No comment on my voice. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right, so let's start putting these in. So we got fan, no, these are power cables, all that sort of stuff. So these are all kind of cable managed already, which is great. So this is gonna go up here, this is gonna go up here. Okay, and then we have some fan headers that are done. Do we have another one, do we have a third? That's an RGB. Okay, so that's gonna plug into this. Well, we'll see here in a minute. Let's figure out the RGB here in a minute. Once I get done, I still got the other one here too. There's your HD audio. You got two fans here for the front. Oh, it's got more RGB splitting up here. Interesting. Okay, well, that's good to know. This must be for the fit, so you can plug more stuff into it. Okay. This is all like pre-done from the review. Ugh. Oh, there's a fan back here. Figure out where that's gonna go. Okay, so let's go to side. Get these plugged in. USB-C right there. USB 3.2. Right there. Makes that easy. Um, front panel is a single butt single thing now, which is nice. There's a front panel connector right there. Makes that easy. HD audio over here. There we go. fan cable right there and then we've got this fan which goes right here oh you're focused on the stupid uh, water bottle is blurring you guys
There we go. Okay. So that takes care of all that. So this is this is an RGB thing. I'm missing a fan header. Okay, that's for power. I feel like there's okay, that's gonna go right there. I'm missing a fan header. Unless like there's like multiple. Maybe it's all into one. That's impressive, okay. We'll turn it on and find out. <clears throat> okay, so that's all of our front panel connectors. Let's get, let's get our little bit of cable management we gotta do for this to make it look nice. It's actually not a whole lot. Because we've got most of it cable managed. No, I got a Corsair water bottle, because that was, because you can't get that from lttstore.com. Okay, that takes care of this. Just zip tie this up here. Why, would you guys rather me have an LTT? Blade of Ice, thank you for the gift itself. High Country Gaming. Uh, Kurosaki, yes. I've never, no, I always use zip ties and builds. I just, I sometimes I'll, I'll go to, I'll use like stuff like this, um, like the uh, Velcro when it makes sense, but I prefer to use zip ties because they do a better job of holding the cables. He, um, you know, it's funny, I should ping him. I'll have to ping him to see what he thought of the review. Actually, most people liked my review of that. Uh, main reason being is that just like, because I wasn't like, I didn't do what people I think expected me to do, which was like slam Linus, which was not the right thing to do anyway. Um, but yeah. I think people were expecting me to slam Linus and why would I do that? He, he did what he did with his build. And he had very different circumstances than what I had for mine. Uh, good now, yeah, we have a whole review on him. We've done all the pop cases. Well, I'm just trying, I don't, I believe in being nice to people. I mean, there's no reason not to, unless you're ripping people off like certain pre-built companies right now. Okay, um, I think, probably gonna wanna zip tie, I mean, that's fine there. I'll zip tie that onto the larger cable when that comes down, the EPS cable. There we go, there we go. Okay, that's all of, oops, so we got this giant one right here. There's all of our cables managed right now. And then we've got these because we've got additional RGB. Let's see, what do I gotta do next? Dude, there's actually, this case, this build's going really fast. Um, uh, I don't know, I don't think we've, I think we've done the Pop X, the Pop Air, but I don't think we've done the Pop XL, no. No, Cyber Power, depending on what you buy, I think Cyber Power is a nice, uh, I don't think Cyber Power is a rip off. You just gotta be smart about what you purchase. Um, I mean, uh, but I think that they do a pretty good job in terms of pricing their cases and stuff like that. Personally, I do. I don't have an issue with Cyber Power. They have a good warranty, they're, 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 but they're, again, you're buying a budget-esque pre-built company, like a in mass pre-built company. So just understand that there's there's some tax that comes with that. Igor, 10 gifted subs. What's up, buddy? You here for today or just checking in? Okay, uh, let's get our GPU in. Guys, this is really, I'm, I think I keep pausing because I'm like, there's more to this, right? Nice.
Uh, not really. For the five and a quarter inch base, I didn't really have anything to put in there. Hold on, my daughter's calling. One sec, guys. Okay, let's get that. My I thought it was an emergency for my daughter and she wanted me to order cookies for her. Ugh. 500, you've done, this is your 500th gifted sub? Wow, dude, that's crazy. Really? Was that 500 right there? I'm not getting a cease and desist. There it is, 500 gifted subs, dude. Can we get some hype in the channel for Igor? That's huge, man. That is true, Blade of Ice. That is true. That is an emergency, Riddick. That's crazy, dude. Blade of Ice dropping. He's 461. Wow. Look at all these guys. Farger, how many have you done? I, that's a lot of people who've done a lot of subs, dude. You guys are so kind for being so supportive. It's still very much appreciated, Bobby Cat, though. Okay, let's get this in. And then we're gonna put in our new... Let's put in our new... Oops, let's not put that on. our new GPU holder in. See Simply, thank you very much for the four gifted subs, my friend, appreciate it. Uh, it is currently 7.39 p.m. One ninety-two of three fifty, guys. One hundred and fifty more to go. There's five hundred forty-four people watching right now. Yeah, they do make great GPUs, Superman. We're gonna put a we're gonna put a cooler underneath it. Here we go. Next, the next new thing we put these RGB, this RGB motherboard thing, and now we're putting in the G the graphics card cooler H two. Never used this before. See if this improves temperatures. Oh, uh. Or what do you think? Think it'll you think it'll improve? Curious what org thinks. Here it is right here. So it's built in, it's got built-in fans. For the it's a it's a it's a sag bracket with built-in fans. He already said my piece. Yeah, he goes. He goes. He said it will it'll improve temps, but it'll hurt uh, G CPU temps. So we'll have to see. We're gonna know in the in the uh, we'll know when we do the stream. I mean, when we do the testing. Still cool thing to test. We haven't used one of these on before.
Thank you for the sub over on uh, uh, over on YouTube. Okay, let's see if we can figure this madness out here. Okay, so it uses. It goes like this, and then you can screw this and then lift this up and down, okay. Now the question is, I wanna hide these. put this other one back in. One other thing I like about more premium cases is that the IO shields do not come off easily, so it makes it a little easier to install things like this because the IO shields aren't flopping around like crazy. Yes, we are, Igor. So please come and play. Uh, yes, you could. You could actually plug this in. That's actually a good point. I didn't even think about that. Thank you for reminding me about the PWM header for on the EVGA. You can actually control the RGB. You can plug both of this in to the RGB header on the, the card. And then I could just run it up like this. And then run them up here. So I might do that. That's a really smart idea. And they'll just both be controlled by the EVGA software. Oh, nice. Igor's gonna play too. We have a community server that's been paid for for a year. So I'm actually pretty excited about this whole thing. And that was a huge shout out to Blade of Ice for doing that. I know he wanted to say, but I mean, that's still a huge thing for somebody. And of course I'm gonna give them props for doing that for the community. This is not. Yeah, so it prevents sag and it cools the GPU. This is here. It's like an extra level here. Okay, so now what I can do is I can plug this in to right here. And then we'll clean these up here in a second. This will go right here. If I do that, it'll look okay. It's very hard not to pull on this very hard. I will say cable managing this is going to be a little bit of a nightmare, guys.
Gotta be careful with not pulling that thing too tight there. Sorry, I am focused on trying to see what I can do to hide this cable. I do have, now the thing is, is that I will have these longer cables that will cover most of this, so as long as I can get this to show, to be underneath. Okay. Okay, the graphics card thing is now in here. Okay, so the graphics card cooler H2 is in. The, G the GPU has SAG protection. Not that it probably needed it. And then we'll use this other, we got it cable managed. It's gonna, it's kind of drive me bonkers, but this is what it is. It's kind of hard to cable manage, but it's my first time. Then what we'll do is we'll, uh, so we, all we gotta do now is add our power extensions, and we're done. Okay, so let's add our power cables, then we'll put in our PSU, and then we're finished. Um, there it is, Asia Horse. I wonder how loud these fans are gonna get. Go. My daughter is insistent about these cookies. Yeah, I'm. I'm. In, I'm curious as well, right? Like, I'm. I'm actually very excited about how these are going to come out. Okay, first step in finishing this is just getting some black cables in here. And I can hook up this last RGB at the bottom here. I can do that now, actually. Okay, I'm just trying to get this RG, there it is. And then I can hook the other one up to, oh, these are like super dodgy. There we go. 
Okay. Okay, got that done. Now all the RGB's hooked up. How are we doing on likes on YouTube? Nuba, you can't do four sticks of DDR5. So before you criticize, Educate. No, this is just a this is just a teardown. How are we doing, Sam? Okay, here we go. Popping that in. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. I like I like the angle because it makes the cables look nicer. So good. There we go. One sec, guys. Got to fix something. I forgot to add the sponsors' streams today, the sponsors' links for. I didn't know I forgot, so I'm going to fix that. They're not in any of them. Oh. There it is. For CDK deals, because they're today's thing. <laughs> Fixing that right now. Not cool of us. I'm still here hanging on your every word. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um let's do our EPS connector now. Top right. I'm doing good, Sam. Thanks for asking. Just building this build. Bama, thank you very much for the sub. Might be better to do this. Up. go. Let's control these real quick and then we'll do our GPU cable and PSU and then we're done guys. Ugh. Let me put this, we're going to zip tie this in. Oh. You guys having fun today? Who's, uh, who's going to stick around and do some gaming with us at the end? Anybody going to join us for our guild? We're having good times there. We've got a lot of people join us. I get migraines. Oh. Oh, thanks, Blade. 
Okay, that takes care of this. We'll just pull this one over and just put it on the... Uh, we have the review out. I mean, it's it's. I mean, it's fine. Uh, we uh, we would definitely undervolt. We definitely undervolt it. Uh, it thermal throttled. If I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but uh, we have a tendency to use twelve nine hundred Ks because it just does a better good. It does a good job of showing how good the case is. Uh, but if you undervolt, it's not as big of an issue. I mean, which you're going to get the same performance. Ugh. But you can air cool a 12900K. You just, uh, like a fractal uh, torrent is completely capable of air cooling a 12900K with no issues. And then uh, the Ice Giant is another one that uh, you can air cool as with as well. Okay, let's get our GPU in. But we have a whole video on air cooling at 12, uh, 12900K. Look at Blade kissing up to Blondie, trying to make sure she stays happy. Where's our, there it is, this goes in this. Thank you very much, Nova. Nova. Says Michael the villain. Is it a ploy? He's saying that to like put us un -gar off guard and then he steals our wallets. I don't know if I trust a guy named Michael the villain asking if we're having a good day. Just saying, you guys watch out for that guy. You know how to do it, Blade of Ice. You tell him dad jokes. <laughs> you saw it worked on my wife uh i like the i like the case a lot we gave it a great review you enjoy that couch tonight she will not put me on the couch it's because her phone was dead blondie you guys, she called me back on Aaron's phone. No, oh, don't be Samwise. She's at a hotel tonight. Wow, you guys have a lot of faith in me as a husband. <laughs> You aren't gonna offend me, Craig. I know some people get sensitive, like some, some people get sensitive when you do that stuff, but it's a joke, I understand. That's why you're banned. I'm going to the Hello Kitty house, that's right. I'm going to the Hello Kitty house. Ricky, thank you for the sub. Can we get to 200? Can we be, can we get to 1300? We're super close to 1300. If we get to 1300, then that means we'll only have 200 subs left before we give that PC away. We've got two days to go, guys. Hey, what's up, Coyotastic? Yeah, it has been a while, man. <laughs> Bojack. Uh, no, we're gonna play some WoW, but thank you for the offer. 
I think Mondays, I mean, right now we're just doing, we were, I was gonna do Hearthstone today, but given we have the 50% boost, I'm gonna do uh, WoW today. So I'll do, probably end up doing Hearthstone on Friday. Um, but, I, and then Saturdays, I may actually save for doing like bigger, like new games. Or like finding games that you guys vote for. Uh, Kyotastic, I think that you'll be able to buy them sometime early next year. I think they'll be announced later this year with a launch of early next year, maybe holiday. Um, but I think they'll wait for both. I think personally, I don't know. I mean, and I'm guessing, I honestly am just flat out guessing. I'll be honest with you. I think they'll wait for Raptor Lake and 7000 series. And I think they're gonna wait to see what how people adoption is on AMD. They don't need to rush. And like with the delays of the 3090 and the other thing too, and the fact that you could still get Founders Edition 3080s, I just don't feel like it's any time, like really soon. Dang it guys, I put this on backwards. I did it, I did it ASUS style. What's up VJ? Yeah, I don't think, I think Org is absolutely right. I hope so, Bob. I really want them to be. What the? Guys, I'm making this go longer. You just gonna reach out on uh, robotech.com. There's a link, just send me an email and we'll start the conversation. A couple of people are in the middle of those conversations now. It's pretty straightforward and it just depends on the build. I, I've been in a generous mood recently, so it hasn't been as expensive for people. Just depends. We have, uh, we actually have, um, we actually, Riddick's building, a, Riddick's getting a really rad system built by me. It's getting custom, like a bunch of custom stuff done to it. So it just depends on the build too. I don't want to spoil it. You guys will see it when it's being built. No, the PC we're giving away is a more budget PC. And that PC is, it's got a 6600 XT in it, I think. It's in the other room. Fantastic thing for the resub. Oh, I hate I have to do it. I hate I hate I hate that I have to redo these. Waiting is. It depends on what you're gonna do. If you're gonna do a 1440p system, you waiting for 13th gen versus waiting for 12th gen doesn't make a lot of sense. It's if you really need to ink out that extra power that that's when waiting is worth waiting for. Right now, prices are so good for PCs and when everything else comes out, uh, there's a video coming out tomorrow about the fact that Intel said that prices for their 13th gen will be 20% higher because of inflation. Um, so you guys, I'm just telling you, if you're gonna buy, if you if you want to get the most out of your budget, now is the time to buy PC parts and PCs. 30 series is in stock below MSRP. You're not gonna see this again with everything else new launching. It's gonna be nightmare again for a while. No, no, that's uh, it's the new, it's the new graphics card cooler. Not, it's not part of the, it's not part of the GPU. Oh, I'm guessing there will be another GPU crisis. Absolutely. It'll, it won't be as bad because mining, especially if Ethereum goes proof of stake like it's supposed to in September, even though there's 
Ethereum Classic now, but still, I don't think miners, I don't think GPU mining is gonna be as big of a deal anymore. Yep. Yeah, the, the people that you have to deal with are people who know that they can flip cards. And there just won't be a ton of stock at the beginning. Okay, well, finally got this stupid thing fixed. Because I did it backwards like a doofus. Very big holes, which is nice. There we go. If you want to see, if you want to see, like I have a whole video up on choosing a budget GPU that'll stack rank them. Not that or, what Org is saying is wrong. It's exactly what we said. But if you want to see all the data and where the stack ranking stuff comes to, go check it. Look at it. Okay, guys. Last part is just the PSU. Everything else is in. It's all cable managed. We're gonna fix up this one little cable duck here and then go from there. Gotta be a little bit careful here with this one. I'm gonna pull it too tight. Okay. If you want the best bang for buck GPU, 3060 Ti. I would save, because 3060 Ti's are so freaking inexpensive right now. And they're and they're they're on sale pretty frequently. Uh, gameplay by facts, you will not be disappointed. Great case. Okay, that's in. Let's get our GP, our PSU in. Let me turn this on. Uh, you mean a 011 Mini? I don't know off the top of my head if it would fit a 3090 Ti. I feel like you're you're not doing yourself any favors by putting a 3090 Ti in an 011 Mini. Ugh. There we go.
Depends on which 3090 Ti. Like you do the tough, but I think that would work, be completely fine. that CPU I have one SATA thirty sixty TI still outperforms it though. It's funny because I think the 6700 XT is like the most disappointing, like from what I've, and like I said, when we went through the thing, it's like been the most disappointing of that, of the 6000 series family. Show people the slide out. Oh, these, you just want to see these? They're in the front, okay. He wanted me to show you guys the slide out. Oh, on the back, these right here. I forgot how they, oh, they go like this, right? Yeah, they're there. Yeah, you just go, they work like this. So you put them in and then you just set the, yeah. Just like that, and then you just pop them in. That's right, I'm trying to remember what they were. I was like, wait, oh yeah. They're pretty awesome. This case is, 6500 XT is terrible. Don't buy that card. Everybody would agree. Don't buy a 6500 XT. I think a 3050 is like, and I, I still like the 3050. I still think there's a world, well there used to be a world if they would just drop the sink in price, but, um, and especially in the world when it was really hard to get 3060 and 3060 TIs, now that cards are readily available, it's really hard to argue for it anymore, um, but not. I think save your money, I, that's the thing is like, I think people should just save their money and get a 3060 TI at the minimum. Guys, let's uh, go hit the likes on the YouTube real quick. Just head on over there, hit that thumbs up button. Okay, let me, let's just, let's take a second. Everybody, there's 555 people, we need 350 likes. 555 people here right now. So just head on over, youtube.com slash Live. Hit that thumbs up button on the stream. And once we do that, we'll give away two, uh, YouTube, uh, two new A gift cards. Just head on over, hit that thumbs up button, and subscribe while you're at it. YouTube.com slash Live. really quick. Just pop on over, hit thumbs up, come back, and then we'll give away some some uh, some stuff, which would be great. Really easy thing. Now we're just gonna get this plugged in here real quick. Thank you very much, guys. Now we can just get this done. Okay, saves Blondie some heartache. You guys want to save Blondie, Blondie heartache, right? Thank you very much, Kennedy. Can see, sorry. Okay. Did I grab the, okay, good, I did. It's like, where is the, there it is. And one more. There it is, peripherals and done. Okay, all of our GPU stuff is in, top down. Okay. 
Oops. Yeah, this was a good old easier. I like, I, I, you know, it's funny. I used to not like these, but as I've gotten used to PSUs, I, I'd, I'd much rather do this, the front load than, I'd rather do it the bracket way than um, the other way. It's the thickness, uh, Igor. I don't know if the, it's the thickness that may be an issue for the 3090 Ti. It is a chunky card. So that's more my thought. But I know lengthwise it should be fine because it's the same, it's the same thing. You can, and then now you can actually get the 30, the 3060 Ti for less than MSRP. I got the sickness for the thickness. I like that. I saw a 3080 Ti for less than a thousand dollars. We had a 3080 Ti for less than a thousand dollars on the show yesterday. I mean uh, Friday. Tom was like killing it with the deals. I saw them. I actually have seen them on Newegg multiple times. <clears throat> I think they'll go. I think you'll see them again when they do the Fantastic sale, and uh, Newegg you'll see another bout of cheap GPUs. But GPUs are on sale like almost every week now. Something else that they like, I like about this, this um, bracket, check it out. So one thing they add, if you look down at the bottom here, hold on, let me zoom out a little, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so down here at the bottom, what the heck is this stuff, okay. See what they added here? They have two little, I, this is the other thing I like about this bracket. These are little things that Lee and Lee does really well. Like. They have little holders on the brackets that this holds onto, so you don't have to like have this moving around, like it'll snap onto the post, and you can screw it on really easily. It's little quality of life things like this that I really appreciate about Lee and Lee. Okay, there you go, Igor. I didn't know for sure. Appreciate you looking that up, dude. So yes, it looks like the 3090 Ti will fit there, no problem. Thank you for looking that up, dude. Oh, come on. Okay, let's grab our first one, CPU. There we go. I might actually, zip, I might zip tie that one right there, which is what we did in the last one. What's up, Seam? How are you? How are we doing on lights? Three thirteen. I think that's the end of the playlist, guys. Yes, it is. Um, guys, let's not forget, let's see, can we, I'd love to see, can we get to 300 and uh, just finish this out with the 300 
1300, we are 26 subs away. Can we get, can somebody just draw, can we just draw, I'd like to see us drive those last 26. Yeah, unless you use extensions, Org, which then you have the opposite problem, like trying to find out where to put all this crap. 16 away, sorry. Which is the opposite. I did so much math today. Three, th 324, 350, guys. Heading over, youtube.com slash Robitech. Let's just get this Robitech live, sorry. And uh, let's finish out this goal. Love to see, can we do YouTube goal and the sub? Like, let's get to the last, let's get these last, uh, these last likes too. And get these last subs. Somebody just drive it. Let's see, can we get the, I know hype trains are always fun. Let's see, can we get to 1300? Because then we'll have 200 left, two days left, guys. We're gonna give this PC away. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some weird thing here because Thirty-six, almost to three fifty. Bernie getting trying to get us the likes. the last cable. The Jin Penguin, thank you very much, man. Jin's trying to get it done, 15 subs away. Let's do it, come on, guys. I'm gonna give that PC away. There we go, all this, those are in. There it is, PC's done. Let's make sure the front looks good. Okay, let's grab our thing. Yes, because air can get out. That's, that's why the, the thing is done at the bottom. It's not actually upside down, it's right side up on the other side. Thank you, Yidi. But yes, you want to make sure that the air is pointed, the GPU, the PSU is pointed down. Brian, not Brian, getting a prime sub in there. Guys, don't forget, this is your last 
You got a little bit left to get in on the RTX 3070 Ti, sorry, RTX 3070 giveaway for the month of July. Head on over to twitch.tv slash Robitech. Use your free Amazon Prime sub. So just use, if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free sub. Uh, use your Prime sub, that gets you one entry towards winning the 3070. In fact, the person who won last month won off of a single Prime sub. Uh, and then if you want to get extra entries, you can subscribe at tier one, like um, like some people, so many people have done. That gets you three entries. If you subscribe at tier two, you get five. Subscribe at tier three, you get 10. And then every gifted subs gets you an extra entry towards winning that GPU. So if you want to win, we have just a week left. And that all also goes towards uh, unlocking the, um, the, the PC giveaway that's happening right now. We're 1,289 to 1,500 subs right there. And we got two days to unlock that. So, okay, let me check the front of this, make sure it looks good. Ugh. And we'll put our, that looks fine. Perfect, okay, let's put our cable management stuff back on. Hide it all again. How's that? <laughs> Top down. That looks so. Uh, that looks pretty clean when you got it that way. Oops. Hey, simply see simply D1. Thank you very much. Five gifted subs. High country five gifted subs. Father Shaw, crispy eighty seven, and Brian not Brian. Look at that thirteen hundred. There it is thirteen hundred. We're cooking with gas, guys. Thirteen hundred. We're getting super close now. We still have one more hype train we could potentially hit today. Bojack taking it to 1301. There we go. There's that. Let's grab our rear panel. go clean that glass because we don't want fingerprints there we go looks good looks clean okay so back is on put the top on. There we go. Chris FB, thank you very much for the sub, dude. Okay, now we only have one more part left. Well, two more parts left. Got our front panel. go and then we just got our fans our front fans okay and there is the build Three forty-five, guys. Whoa. 
We accidentally moved the whole case. There we go. Okay. Now, let's count our zip ties. One. Here we go, here we go. Odd or even, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's five. One, two, three, four, five. There's 10. One, two, three, four, five. There's 15, 16, 17, 18. That's even. There's 5, 10, 15, 18. 18. Even. Did I miscount that? Let's just see. I see 5 there. I see 5 there. I see 5 there and 3. That is 18. Triple checked. No dangling chads today. There it is, even today. Okay. Oh. All right, let's go ahead. And what I'm gonna do is let's run our, let's do our deals and ads today. go get those knocked out and then our, our sponsor and our deals and then we'll go from there hold on one second and then we'll turn it on and boot and all that stuff where is the there it is again okay One second, guys. I got it right. Alu nerd, thank you very much for the sub. Okay, 